You know what they say about big ambitions. It also has a big resolution, which is why you only saw that little dude in the corner up there. We actually got to do it like this. We got to do it like this. That looks more right. This is a new game um, that's been described as king of retail on steroids, not on acid, which usually means that it's a new Far Cry sequel where you accidentally like inhale hallucinogenic vapor and then you're like shooting dudes and when they explode, they explode into like, you know, it looks like um, one of those marathon races where they hit you with like sand when you cross the finish line. This is on steroids, which means it's really, really strong and is about to be cast as a um, sentry in the new uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe franchise by the name of, I don't, listen, I can't get out, I can't segue off of this. I just keep digging myself a deeper and deeper hole. Now people are like, wait, are you accusing Steven Yeun of being on steroids? No, I'm not. I don't know if he's going to play Sentry, okay? All I'm accusing him of is stealing. Stealing the show in every single movie he's ever been in and also some of the TV shows. Anyway, regardless, this is big ambitions. I, it's, it's, you make your own business, you run your own business. Uh, it's been described as king of retail meets Grand Theft Auto, for real. I haven't played it, so I don't know how apt that is. But I did play Startup Company, which is why I said, hey, when I booted up the game. Because I, I played this and enjoyed it. I do think I reached a point in Startup Company where it was like, turn your widgets into woozits. And I was like, I can't figure this out, man. I need a PhD. <laughs> I don't think that's, uh, that's the game's fault. It's probably my fault. But anyway, let's start a new game. Story mode. Yeah, yeah. Not recommended for new players? Then then put me on story mode and I'll play on normal difficulty because I'm a normal guy. Hmm. I gotta say, I this is... Cla if you remove the tie, this is classic E3 drip for like a Microsoft executive. Put emojis in there. You know what? Like, let's randomize a name. Theo Johnson. Curtis King. I mean, that is pretty good. Joe Morris, Anthony Perry, Lawrence Watson, Justin Roberts, Ralph Anderson, Sonny Barden, Leon Nicholson, Dusty Morris, Kyle Turner. You know what? I feel like Northcliffe Fisher is basically, that's pretty much perfect. I love the drip. Can I get, wait, so this is like weight. And this is like athleticism. Strength, muscle, muscle mass. Most people don't know this. All human bodies have two sliders. So I would say, I mean, like, probably looking like maybe there. And then also probably looking like, I mean, listen, I'm not a complete string bean, but neither is this when, when all the sliders are going far left. He's not a string bean either. He's got a, a heck of a V taper. So I'm like, Probably a little bit heavier than that. And then, like, I don't know, in terms of muscle mass, I mean, I'm probably, I think I'm honestly pretty much at the far left. All it seems to do is change the, the girth of his biceps and shoulders. Well, and his quads, admittedly. I, they just put me right there. That's fine. Okay, which version of David Byrne are you? I have no idea. Um, <laughs> I have no... I, what, what have I done? Okay, your clothes. Oh, I love that. Yeah, that turtleneck, that's going to stay. And I think, what, what about a turtleneck with, with some cargo shorts attached to it? Yeah, with the camo, I think. That's nice. And then shoes-wise, you got to go business shoes, obviously, because we're in business here. Um, haircut. There's only three male haircuts, everyone knows. There's this one. There's this one. And then there's that one. So why don't you go ahead and give me that one right there. And I'll just take that in like a, in a brown if you got it. No bald. Which again, I'm just pointing this out that it, it just annoys me. Because you have to model bald to model the haircuts, okay? The game does not yet get the bald seal of approval. It's true. Alright, I absolutely hate um, what I've done here. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that's going to make it any... No, I... I don't, I just find it annoying to look at you, quite frankly. Let's start the game. North Cliff Fisher. 
It's been three months since Grandma died. I know I'm an adult now that I'm 18 years old, but still, it feels so scary that there's no one around to take care of stuff. There's one good thing, though. At the funeral, my Uncle Fred asked me for my phone number. He said he wanted to help me get on my feet. I don't really know him, but I guess he's family after all. Why does this feel like the start of an Ari Aster movie? Like, if this was the crawl before the movie, I would be getting myself ready for some, some shared cinematic trauma. Someone said, so true, I can't. It's like, well, is it so true or is it so false? Oh, hang on. Hey, kid, I hope you're feeling better. Anyway, I talked with a friend of mine, Richard. He owns a bunch of buildings in Hell's Kitchen, and he's kind of a big shot. Well, the bottom line is uh, he has a cheap apartment that uh, you could probably afford. It's not much, but it'll do. Okay. Travel and to and rent 30... <laughs> Third Street 45. Hey, I'm walking here! I've always wanted to do that. Okay. We're going to 45 Third Street. It's 60 meters away. It's a good idea. What if we got hit by a car and then, like, just participated in some insurance fraud? Okay, here we are. It's a residential. It's in the neighborhood of the Garment District. It's 54 meters squared. And it's available for rent. I would like to rent it. Sure. Avail daily rent is 44 bucks. It's like $1,200 a month. Hey, for New York, for a walk up in New York City, that seems pretty good. That seems pretty cheap for 2023. Holy cow. That's a damn steal. Traffic index is a 10, though. It's quite a walkable city, though. Sleep until full energy. Okay. Oh, here I am. Dude, 1400 bucks a month for this? This is pretty good. It's not a huge apartment, but for, for New York City, I mean, this thing's got rooms. No toilet, but, you know, you... you for 1400 bucks a month, what do you expect? Sure, I'll sleep. Listen, I'm not going to wake up at 5.33 a.m. like a psycho. 6.01 sounds perfect to me. Okay. Mission completed. Buy a standard and, fridge uh, from the local appliance store. I also store. transferred a couple of bucks to your bank account because uh, I want to make sure you get something to eat, okay? Promise me. Couldn't have done that last night. I can't believe it has voice acting. Your uncle giving you a fridge is not nepotism, okay? It's, there's, I don't know, understand what you, family environment you come from. There's, there's something called hand-me-downs. Normally, when you have junk and you want to throw it away, you have to pay somebody to come take it, or you have to engage in some self-delusion, which is like you put your broken shit at the, end, at the end of your driveway, and then you put a sign on it that says free, as if like people are going to take away your free garbage, okay? Once your siblings, once your friends start having kids, hey, anybody want a 37-inch uh, picture tube TV? It would cost me 20 bucks to dispose of it. People in college are like, another TV for free? Sure. They don't know. Well, they're going to end up smashing that shit when they move out. They're going to be cursing themselves. Why do we get seven foosball tables out of the dumpster? Anyway, sorry. It's called having a loving family, okay? This business is currently closed. Tip, you can sleep on benches. <laughs> Alright, I mean, I guess it is 6.48 a.m. I'll wake up at... You gotta be there right when the appliance store opens. You wanna beat the rush. So I'll wake up at 9. Hello, sir. <laughs> Alright, here we are. Need to buy a standard fridge. Well, there it is. 1800 bucks. Guess I would just go pick one of those up. Um... And then place the fridge in your apartment, and then buy three units of fresh food. 
Oh, whoa, whoa. I, you gotta pay for your items before leaving now, of course. Stay, yep, yeah, I'll place my order here. He's pretty strong, huh? I don't need your directions. I know where my house is. Uh, could you chill out? I'm literally man moding a refrigerator while jogging. Dude, the, the run animation when you're holding something looks so good. <laughs> He's so happy! He's doing his fridge dance. It's my house. I'll place that in my kitchen, please. Anybody place him pee? Go to the local supermarket and buy at least three units of fresh food. Listen, I'm... I'm I get being hungry, but I couldn't possibly eat three units of food right now. His cardio is out of control. I am crossing. Third Avenue, am I right? Oh, sorry, that's it right there. Let's just chill out. El Gato Food Market. What, what, what is this? I need a basket? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dude, this game thought of everything. Three units of food. Okay, what do you got for me? Is they got a great sale here? Buy one, get one free? Frozen food? Okay, well, like, let's buy a little fresh food. Let's get two fresh foods. And then let's get a frozen food. Just to have, because some nights we'll be too lazy to cook. We'll just make, like, a frozen pizza or something like that. What do we got here? Some frozen, some fresh, some fresh, some soda, anything going on back? Oh, job available. Look at that. Oh, it's, excuse me. I'll go to the other checkout counter if you don't mind. It does say I need three units of fresh food, doesn't it? Hang on. Hang on. I forgot something. What's wrong? It just went... Bah. Oh, because you don't have a basket anymore. <laughs> right? Man can carry a fridge. Can't add an item to a temporary container. You're too stuffed to consume. You know what? Drop this shit on the ground. Give me a basket. Drop discard paper bag. Pick up basket. <laughs> Give me three fresh foods. Go to the different checkout counter so I'm not embarrassed. The other guy's like, you've been here. Weren't you just here? No, dude, that's just that's my twin brother. Let me guess, he got one frozen food item. That guy. I'm broke, man. You ate the frozen food item straight out of the box? Sometimes they're they're pre-cooked. They might just be a little cold. It's perfectly fine. It's just like not preheating your oven. I would like to add What hey, have kid. I done? I've gone ahead and paid your first rent, but that's it, okay? You need to get out there and get a job. Anything at all. You just need a salary right now. How do, I, how do I place my... What what happened to my... Oh, there you go. I did it somehow. Get a job at the local supermarket. Continue working until you've earned $300 from your new job. You'll laugh, but like I see people like this in Vancouver all the time. We live in such a fucked up time. People are riding their road bikes on the sidewalk, and then they're running on the street like don't flatter yourself bike you're not a person person you're not a car car you're not a bike get off of the seawall cash register I could do that closed on Fridays it's a bold decision I would say I'd accept that job today is my day off Tomorrow, I work until from 8 to 4. What is this, prison? It's 
today's my day off. I literally, what do you, like, they're like, here's your destination. That's not my damn destination. My destination is home. I can't do anything. This isn't my house. <laughs> I'm sorry. My house? Hello. Hot dog. I'll take one of those. <laughs> oh, sorry. I need to interact with the cashier to purchase this item. I would like to purchase a hot dog. And, and I'll take a soda as well to celebrate my new job. No, I'm not. I'm too full to even eat it. I'm out of here. Where's my house? <laughs> Are you my house? Wait. 29 Third Street. We're at 45. Or 43. 45? 41? 45. There we go. Oh, the one with the house icon. I guess I was asleep for... Um, I mean, we should wake up early. Like, I, I think we should get up at, like, 7. If we start... Well, we start work at 8. Let's wake up at 6.40. We can always catch a cat nap on the bench in front of the business. Okay, take a quick shower. Oh, never mind. I forgot. <laughs> okay, get out of there. Yeah, set, set destination, please. Little stinky boy. He's been wearing that turtleneck in the middle of July. It's true. Because he slept for 20 hours, he didn't need to eat. Remember that one. Okay, you got a bench for me to sleep at? Somewhere out here? You got a bench, maybe? Oh, you know what? Sometimes it's just nice to go for a, a nice little jog at daybreak. Just keep yourself uh, feeling good. Oh, no, don't, listen. I would say wake up at 7.45, just a quick 20-minute nap. I'm in, I'm on time. 10 minutes before my, my shift started, I would like to assign myself. And then fast-forward time. So I don't do anything, I'm just standing here. This ain't so bad. Wait, I have to do this until I've made $300? That's impossible. <laughs> okay, time machine till end of shift. How much money did I make today? Eight? I made 200 bucks? The drudgery. Now my ass has to go home and sleep for 18 hours, get up, do it all over again? Forever? Is this true? Why am I going home? I could, oh, no, I'm going home because I need some food. My guy's pretty hungry. Okay, time to invest some of our profits here. I'll consume a fresh food. Thank you so much. I'll take a little snooze. Plus, there's just some dignity in, you know, sleeping in your house, I would say. Why don't you wake me up at, uh, I mean, honestly, might as well wake up at, like, 7.20. I gotta buy, like, a computer or something so my dude has something to do for the rest of the day. Otherwise, what's he gonna do? He's just gonna... I mean, I'm realizing now that everything costs money. I can't even go eat a hot dog for recreation. That shit is like... Hot dog and a soda is 15 minutes of work. I need to unlock the Costco membership. I guess I start working 10 minutes, so I probably shouldn't nap. I'd like to assign myself, please? I only have five minutes. I've done it. What now? Do I, Am I the CEO now? Take out a loan of $15,000. Just like your dad. I think he was probably just about your age when he started his first business. Look, if you need a loan to start something... I got a friend over at uh, Jensen Capital. His name is Larry, okay? That's who you ask for. And be sure to say hi from me, your Uncle Fred, okay? Okay, Larry. 
I would like to get a new loan of fifteen thousand dollars. Okay, I'm pretty hungry. Can we finish this up? Daily payment is seventy-one dollars. Daily interest is nine bucks. The terms of this seem crazy, dude. How long does it last? It's twenty percent interest. It's out of control. Hold on, the day is finished. I'll have the full amount transferred to your bank account right away. All right, where's the casino? Let me out. Also, I'm really hungry. Uh, honestly, take me to Luca's Pizza real quick. I mean, a man can't be expected to become a CEO on an empty stomach. Let me get let me get a, a burger and a soda can, please. I'm waiting in the queue. It really is like real life simulator. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> Bro, come on! I gotta open my gift shop. My ass is not waiting 17 minutes for a burger and fries, honestly. Like, look at how long this is. It's, it's madness. I've been in line for, like, it's almost half an hour here. Consume that shit right in the line. Throw the paper bag on the ground. Get out. Okay. Find and rent a retail building of a maximum of 75 meters squared in the Garment District. I'd like to use Google Maps, please. Uh, it would be awesome if it could be like right across from my house or even right next to it. Oh, you're a clothing store. Oh, they want me to... No, that's me. It's me? Retail. There you go. Oh, dude, there's one super close. What about this one? 75, 75 meters squared. Let's set that as our destination. It is a long run, though. Checking <laughs> Google Maps in the middle of the intersection. I feel like this game has turned me into the average Disney Cruise patron. My ass waited in line, complained about how long the line was, as if there weren't, you know, 5,000 people on a ship. Uh, and then as soon as I got to the front, filled up my cup with fountain Coca-Cola and then drank it while blocking anybody else in the line from being able to access the fountain. Okay, daily rent, 14 bucks. That doesn't seem too bad. What is that, like, uh, it doesn't seem bad at all. This is like $400 a month. I'm in. I'll start a new business immediately. There's zero competitors in my neighborhood, probably because uh, nobody under the age of 60 has ever been inside of a gift shop in their entire life. Um, enter the name of your business. Mackle more and sp but spend less. Mackle more, spend less. That's perfect. I don't know if I'm qualified for all this. Um, promotion, I get 10% due to the traffic index, 50% due to satisfaction. Sure, this, this all sounds great to me. My inventory and pricing, no products, but I got green arrows. My schedule, well, I mean, I'll let my uncle help me. First, I should probably quit my job at the local supermarket. That was easy. Okay. What do you Pick up the Yo, Hansa Mimic at Uncle Fred's now, car dealership. Now I gotta buy a car from you? Very good. Now we got some shopping to do. We'll get you some furniture and uh, some really nice It's crazy that these are there. the walkable cities and, uh, that, that boomers I are so afraid of. We got everything. We, we, we took out a bank from a, or a loan from a bank on our block. We're buying a car that's three blocks away. Our, our store is across the street. Our first job was across the street. The grocery store is right next door. It's beautiful. Grab a hand now truck. Found a car. Good. Now, don't get any parking tickets. As I said earlier, it's time to pick up some stuff for your new store. 
you gonna use your new car or continue hey, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. With the hand trucks it's up to you grab a hand truck a cabinet a cash register I do we got to turn off the music this song's too good to be to be uh, fake Hang on, I gotta I gotta go to the options menu real quick. Audio, radio volume. I'm gonna put that on zero, unfortunately. You never know. I'm sure it's all it's all on the up and up. You just never know. Okay, red light. We're gonna follow all traffic laws in this. Sorry, I'm parked illegally. Now I'm parked legally. Okay, we're good. I'm used to cars that have ABS. That's my mistake. Okay, hang on. <laughs> Throw it in reverse real quick. Throw it in forward real quick. Throw it in reverse real quick. This is definitely not a real city. They would not... Here, actually, you know what? I'm going to teach you a little trick for parallel parking. People are going to give me some serious negatives, uh, negative twos for this. I love to parallel park in such a way that, like, if I really backed it up, we could probably fit one more car in here. If the meter is set up in such a way that I could legally do it, I love to park like this instead so there's not enough space for another car to park here. Because if I leave enough space for a car to park here, that fucker's going to be right on my bumper and I'm going to have to do like 17 adjustments to get my car out of the damn spot. Drives me crazy. Okay, take me, okay, take me to Square Appliances. <clears throat> it's not open. All right. Honestly, I guess in that case, I'll just take a quick snooze in the car. Probably open it. Well, I don't have a... I work for myself now. I can show up whenever I please. So let's wake up at 9. Just a quick 11 hours sleep in the driver's seat. <laughs> okay. Idling the whole night, apparently. Shop barrier. I need a hand truck. Where the hell is the hand truck? Next to the door, of course. There it is right there. By a cabinet. <laughs> Cleaning station. Storage. I don't want two rounded shelves, are you crazy? Okay, I'll take one rounded shelf. Where's my cabinet at? cabinet these are like recycling bins stack of shopping baskets sure i'll take one of those standard fridge freezer am i crazy where's my cabinet shell oh cabinet <laughs> drinks fridge that's not a cabinet oh never mind okay i didn't i thought this was part of the store stuff this is like going into best buy and being like how much for the blue shirts that's, that's the store's property. They're using it to display items. That's a cabinet with drawers. I'll take a cash register too. Whatever. Cabinet with drawers is probably fine. Okay. Cash register. Stack of shopping baskets. Cabinet. Rounded shelf. $2,000. Hang on. I'm waiting in queue. No, it's no problem. You only got one box. You go ahead of me. I'm starting a business. Now, here's the thing. Do you think they're going to throw in a free hand truck? You think I could just toss the hand truck in here? You'll be dead by midday. I just got to eat something. It's not a big deal. Get Owens. They have a drive through in this game? Whatever, I'm going on yellow. I don't care. This is what we call this a Vancouver left. Oh, sorry. Wait, throw it in reverse. There's no parking on one side here. Hang on. 
We can make this one. Let me, sh let me show you the secret to parallel parking, okay? You get up real... Buddy, buddy! That's my parking spot, bro! How am I supposed to get in there? Okay, you, you pull up until you're like parallel with the car beside you. Then you go back until their passenger side window. <laughs> Sorry, they're... Okay, I'm doing a three point turn. Could you just chill out? Holy cow. The drivers here have lost their minds. I don't care. I'm parking it right here. You see businesses do do this all the time. It's it's okay to park illegally if you're loading something into a store. Source? Every Cisco truck driver in history. I can't get out of my car. I can't move. Yes, I can. You have to use the mouse. <laughs> get it. As long as you put the four ways on, you're okay. Excuse me, I'd like to manage my storage. Okay. Put them on top in your store. Oh, I see. So we, uh, all right, all right. Drop this. My rounded shelf. Anybody know how you rotate things in this game? Oh, the R key. I never would have thought of that. You're dying of hunger? You can be hungry for like three days. I'm not even worried about it. Relax, buddy! I'm It's commerce! You also have a hand truck in your back room. Actually great intel, thank you. Cabinet needs the cash register. You have received a message from the city of New York. That seems bad. Can I fit behind this? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Can you pick it up? There, that's better. It's probably a parking ticket. That would make sense. Place this with P. It shouldn't be so hard to get a business set up, man. Why is it facing this way? Whatever, we can have them face the wall. Like, I just... Whatever, it is... Maybe that's where the customer does face. I don't want the customer to see the drawers, though. The, the clerk should see the drawers. And stack of shopping baskets, you just pop those fuckers down on the ground right here. Excuse me. Perfect. Uh, oh, very, very nice. I thought I got another parking ticket. Like a real store now. Next, we have to buy some things for you to sell. And for the time being, you have to go to a wholesale store. But eventually, down the road. You'll do a whole lot better by importing directly from the manufacturer overseas. Yes, but have you ever considered that I'll also be contributing to uh, offshoring, which is going to like slowly erode the purchasing power of our uh, manufacturing base of employees in the country? And then like after 40 years of like constant offshoring because everybody wanted to get a t-shirt for nine dollars and then if like a t-shirt costs ten dollars people are like what the heck ten dollars uh you realize that like it was actually buying all the cheap t-shirts in the first place that caused you to not be able to pay 10 bucks for it like, i don't know a whole lot about economics okay i'm just i'm just a streamer i'm just spitballing give me a second i'm setting up my three point turn most sane parking job so far. Now, is there a... Hang on. What do you sell? <laughs> Anybody? Listen, it's New York. You should just be able to find a pizza place anywhere. Use your phone? This is New York. In New York, we don't use our phones. What do you got for me? 
I'll take a I'll take a croissant, please. And I guess you know what? I'll take a cup of coffee as well. Oh fuck. I was first in line. <laughs> Oh, they ordered online. Shit drives me crazy. Really, it takes you that long to serve me like a coffee and a croissant? I, I, I can't believe I have to... Okay, discard your paper bag. I can't believe I gotta re-up. Let me just get a cup of coffee and a soda, please. Least entitled Canadian? I'm just saying this would not fly in Vancouver. This place would be out of business. The fact that it takes, it was like eight minutes for you to get four people through the line to get a cup of coffee, like that's madness. Now let me guess the fucking business is gonna be uh, closed by the time I try to go into it now. I gotta sleep in my car. I don't wanna rent the building, get me out of here. What time is it? Six o'clock? Oh my god, it's still open. You guys are lifesavers. Buy a box of cheap gifts. Can I have a shopping basket, please? Box of cheap gifts. 50x classic cheap male clothing. Oh, there we go. 200 cheap gifts. I'll take one of those. And the box of paper bags. Let me use the hand truck real quick. <laughs> Where the hell's my paper bags? Plant in square vase. 100 burger, 50 frozen foods. I'm in the damn walls. They're in the top left. Bottom right. <laughs> okay. Oh, there they are. 1,000 paper bags, thank you. Sorry, I know I kept you guys open like a little longer than you probably like to stay open, but this is really, these paper bags and cheap gifts are really gonna help me out. I'm starting a business, you know. Okay, close that up. Probably just leave the hand truck right there because uh, these fuckers are never gonna see me again. You move it. That's why you get paid the big bucks. <laughs> Tragic accident today in Midtown. Bro, give me some space. I made a mistake. Now give me some space. Or do you, want, do you just want to be mad? You just want everyone to know I made a mistake and you're mad about it. Or do you want the traffic to actually flow properly? Drives me crazy, dude. Yeah, I get it. I made a mistake. Now, now let me back in, bozo. Okay, I can't afford any damn parking tickets here. I've been charged a fee of a $125, a $125 parking fee just replacing my car on the sidewalk that my taxes theoretically paid for. That shit is criminal, man. If I wasn't in love with the greatest city in the world, I would move out of here without a doubt. I'd be gone tomorrow. Okay, now if you'll excuse me. These are my paper bags. Those need to be stocked at the cash register. And then my cheap gifts. Can, I, can we rename these when we sell them? Did you embrace thumbs down meta while driving? No, I like I saw the post, okay? And the post was... My husband told me that instead of giving the finger, he now just gives an aggressive thumbs down and it makes people even madder. I don't give people the finger when I drive to make them mad. I give them the finger because I'm mad. I don't really care if they feel bad. Like, I'm just like, you pissed me off, so take one of these. So I'm sticking with the bird.
tell the other drivers they're braking too loud. Now you're talking. Great work, kiddo. Now it's time to open up and start. Do you do, do the bird cash, when the baby's in the car? Money. 100%. Absolutely. Open the store using Bizman's schedule. I am very familiar with the Bizman suite of um of of software. So this is Bizman's schedule. It's a Unix system. I know this. Um we should be open every day. And we should be open from, you know, I'm going to say other businesses open at 9. We're going to undercut them. We're going to open at 8. And we're going to, we're going to stay open until 8. That's a 12-hour day right there. We're going to be open 8 to 8 on all days. It's called commerce. Start working at the cash register. Okay, well, if you don't mind, we, we are closed until tomorrow. Hey, well, friend, this is where I live, you psycho. Theoretically, there's children who live here. Okay, I'm going to consume some fresh food real quick. And I don't know about you. I'll probably, like, sleep in my bed. We open at 8. Brother, wake me up at 7. the beauty about being your own boss right there nine hours of sleep it's not even my that's not my place of business this is my place of business I would like to assign myself to the cash register I'm just gonna fast forward through time because uh, like this is opening day of the business like I want to see uh, I want to see if we get any customers We're cruising, man. Dude, and that's we got like four customers in the first hour. Seems pretty good. Time flies, buddy. How do we do? Run the business for two days. My ass is fucking tired, dude. <laughs> I'll consume some more fresh food, please. I'll go to bed. How am I supposed to buy groceries? Are there any 24 hour businesses like open around here? Total profit $681, though. Nothing wrong with that. How about, wait, 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 what time is it? 7.30? Lucas Pizza, any chance like a, I could... I, I gotta go first. Listen, give me, a, give me a soda can and a, a salad, please. Bro, I gotta hurry up, dude. My store opens in 10 minutes, you piece of shit. I literally have to go to work in, in four minutes. Could you get the lad out? It's the city that never sleeps. It's it's open, but no, I'm eating my salad. I'm at, Listen. Assign self. Assign, discard the paper bag. Assign, okay, whatever. We missed 12 minutes of work. Big, big whoop. How do we do today? We don't know yet. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to open Bizman real quick. And I'm just going to be straight up with you. Bizman scheduler, please. Um... We're going to open at 9. A man's got to eat breakfast, you know? And that, that should be every day. Sounds good to me. Maybe you sleep 10 hours instead of 11? Oh, so I should just sacrifice, like, all my quality of life? So you can buy, like, a pewter Christmas ornament for $7? Wake me up at 7.30, please. We made another $651 today. That's pretty good. I'm a little hungry, though. Well, oh, it's not open yet. Look at you, hustling around and stacking cash already. I tell you, your dad would have been so proud. 
I think it's time for your first hire. And don't forget to take that course at the business administration school so you know what you're doing, all right? Thank God for Lucas Pizza, dude. Without Lucas Pizza, like, I would not be making it. You know what? I mean, I'm going to double up on you, brother. I, let me... No, no, no. I'm, I'm first in line. Give me a salad. Second in line. Now we're talking. Maybe I should go to the grocery store tomorrow. That's a good point. Hang on. Complete the basic management course? I feel like I should close my business then. Start a recruitment campaign for customer service employees at the Anderson Recruitment Corp. Wait for the agency to send you the first candidate through the contacts app. Upsign the employee to the cash register using Bizman schedule. Hang on, I'm throwing my paper bag out. Um, Give me a second here. We're just gonna we're gonna close the business today. I guess I will travel to the the recruitment corp. Holy cow! What is a recruitment corp? Is it a marketing agency? Is it the Internal Revenue Service? You got to close your place? Why? Who cares? What are they going to do? Rob me from all my cheap gifts? Because it's open? Yeah, so what? People come in, they... Well, what the fuck? We need to restock soon. We'll just have like, yeah, an honor box or something. It's like Halloween. Where the hell is Anderson Recruitment Corp? Can I Google it? <laughs> or Google it? Where did I park, man? Oh, man, there we go. Manhattan Business School. It's on, it's on the damn header. Dude, where's my car? Scream. Great turn. Walkable cities, man. You gotta love them. Okay, sorry, I need to be over here. The car's gonna need a little little tune-up soon. It says 75% condition. That said legal, right? I can't afford another parking ticket. Legal and free! Ooh! I'm never leaving. Basic management course. I would like to learn basic management. I need to study for 10 hours. I'll study for nine hours. It's too late to start a session. Come again tomorrow. Any chance you're still open? Closes in two hours. What the hell is this? Cigars? I don't need a damn cigar. I, I thought it was Monte Cristo sandwiches. I'm gonna starve. Gifts and souvenirs. Get out of this is our territory. Square appliances. What, they don't they don't have restaurants in New York now? Manhattan business school. My ass is gonna starve tonight. What time is it? It's 8 p.m.? It's just, it's just houses and schools? I mean, Boston. I expect that out of Boston, but... Help me. Help me. Use Google Maps? In, I, I reject the notion that in a city you should have to use a map app to find a restaurant. If you want to find a particular restaurant, sure. But if you just need to find a place to eat, you should not have to open Google Maps. I resent it. What is this? This business is currently closed.
I mean, I'm in the place named after Gordon Ramsay's show. I'm in Hell's Kitchen, and I can't find a place to eat? Make it make sense. Well, I'm sleeping in my car. The grind never stops. Get up at 9... 8, 8.59, please. Didn't do so hot today. He is low energy, but so what? I mean, as far as I'm concerned, there's no consequences except the meter goes down to zero. Big whoop. Start a recruitment campaign. Well, if you don't mind, I'd like to recruit, like, a, a cheeseburger into my stomach first. I guess we'll start... We'll, we'll get truly American-pilled, and we'll drive to a restaurant. <laughs> I mean, I'm not used to it, but when in Rome... If nobody got me, I know Lucas Pizza got me. So if you just give me a second here. Could you just chill out? Okay, we go to we're going to Lucas Pizza. I'm going to get in line first. Can I get a salad and a and a soda, please? Okay, honestly, I was going to get another salad, but the place is too busy. Sorry to tell you that the place is too busy, so I will not be getting another salad. Bro, <laughs> open mouth coughed on you? Only in New York, baby. The city that never sleeps. It's time to start the music. It's time to light the lights. It's time to park legally on the Muppet Show tonight. Insanely great parking job. I'd like to go inside Anderson Recruitment Corp. I'd like to start... Oh my god, it's overwhelming. I'd like to start a recruitment campaign. Please. You ever walk into a business and you're like, I know what I want, but I don't know who to talk to? That's how I feel right now. What type of employee are you looking for? I want someone who's good at customer service. Um, honestly, <laughs> I want someone exploitable. I want this to be someone's first job. Amount of candidates, one. Okay. I mean, it's not that hard. I believe in it. Days to deliver, one. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, we got, a, we got some capital we can spend through right now. Can I help you with anything else? How about a warm glass of shut the hell up? Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take today... I know our business is open. I'm going to take today to stock up on food so that we're not burning all of our uh, revenue buying salads and, and Cokes every day. And then we can actually sleep in our house. Which one of you fuckers was Elgato? There it is. I wouldn't park illegally, by the way, if they had more parking. I would be happy if the place that I parked was just demarcated as a, as a legal parking spot, but instead this shit is illegal. So yeah, I'm parked illegally. Okay, give me a basket. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm loading up, man. You can only hold 10 fresh foods. Like, you can only hold 10 things in a basket? Well, it sounds like you guys might want to invest in some shopping carts. Okay. 10 fresh foods. Now we're talking. What have I done? Please put the fresh food into the Hanza Mimic.
He's done it. Now let me get into my car. Thank you. Okay. It was in. You took it out. It's in the bag. I can't wait till I loot someone in this game. You gotta remember. You gotta go through the pockets. You gotta go through the scav vest. You gotta go through. Like it just never ends, man. Give me my paper bag consisting of the food that I purchased. Thank you so much. I couldn't have done it without you. Um, go place this into my standard fridge. And then you know what? Oh, I'm going to reward myself. I'm going to reward myself by purchasing some fresh food. And then, honestly, I put in like a, like a hard couple of hours out at the old uh, workplace here. I'll assign myself. Why not? How'd we do today? Won't know until we... Well, excuse me? Won't know until we go to sleep, I guess. Was the store even open? Oh, oh, it was open. What's the point of this game? What's the point of life, brother? Stacking that those greenbacks. I'm out for dead presidents to recommend me. Or represent me. I'm out for dead presidents to represent me. Okay. Sorry, Lucas Pizza. I do support local businesses, but uh, I, I, honestly, I just can't afford your $12 salads on a daily basis anymore. I'm sorry to say. I'm going to assign myself. I'm going to time machine to the end of my shift. I've received a new message from Anderson Recruitment Corp. Sebastian Hubbard, age 60, customer service 38. You know what? Why don't I just hire Sebastian Hubbard to work for me for $19 an hour, and then I'll just go work at the grocery store for $25 an hour? So my ass is running my business for the cost of like net negative six dollars an hour that's a <laughs> that's beautiful that's arbitrage infinite money glitch here's a little it's like a tiktok investor clip what i do is i, I guess it's not a tiktok investor clip it's literally the way the world works what i do is i pay i i have a store where i sell things and then i pay someone less money than the store makes and then as a result, all that extra money goes to me for doing nothing. It's a genius business strategy. He's full time. He's high full time. <laughs> well, it is New York. Anyway, sure, you're hired. Assign them to the cash register using Bizman schedule. I got to teach this boomer how to use Bizman schedule. What was my alerts? Where do I see my alerts? Customers not that satisfied with our interior. Yeah, whatever. It's a gift store. Where's it? Can I see my alerts, please? You think those would be like at the top of the list, biz man? We got Larry Ellison running this thing? Bottom left is alerts. This alert is not a yellow X. It should be a red X. It should be a yellow triangle. Rounded shelf soon runs out of cheap gifts. Sebastian Hubbard is not currently assigned to any tasks. Okay. Well, we, we use Bizman scheduler. And uh, cash register. We're going to drag Sebastian Hubbard onto that. And he'll, he'll pretty much be working eight hours. I'll start opening at seven. <laughs> can I can I have a meet can I give him like a little lunch break? What do you mean he's working at a seventy hour week? Oh yeah, that that might be a little much, huh? Alright, sorry, sorry. Alright, Sebastian. I'll tell you what, I like, uh, I'll, I'll do mornings, okay? I'm going to put you on that 40 hour a week grind. 
and put you on that 42 hour a week grind i'm gonna work nine to two okay close some days you're fucking fired just so you know close well look at who's the boss. you want me to close the thing that makes money that hire, kid. i know having an employee takes a big cut out of what you're taking in but it also gives you extra time time to uh I start cleaning up these floors. Oh man, they're a bit nasty. What? This guy should just start running the business, man. Like he's he's so backseaty. I'm realizing we're gonna be sleeping in our car again tonight. Hello, T edits. Hello. Square appliance appliances definitely closed. Sorry guys. Sorry. 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 I'm real sorry about maybe you can give me a little space. Okay, parallel parking simulator. You go slow in reverse, right about here, you start doing one of those. Quick little jadjist. Beautiful. Legal. Let me sleep. I guess I should have just slept in my house. Hang on, cancel this. My ass is out of here. <laughs> 